teacher and friends, we are going to present our ABP project about Leonidas Plaza. So let's start uh, with his biography. Uh, Leonidas Plaza was an Ecuadorian politician and soldier who was born on April 80 of 1865 in Charapoto, Manaví, Ecuador, and died in Huigra, Chimborazo, Ecuador, at the age of 67 years old on November 17 of 1932. Uh, he was the son of Jose Buenaventura Plaza, a school teacher, and Alegría Guterres de Cavie de Sevillano, a descendant from, of Colombia heroes. Uh, he was president of the Republic of Ecuador on two periods. The first was from September 1st uh, of 1901 to August 31st of 1905. And the second period was from September 1st of 1912 to August 31st of 1916. His government was distinguished by liberal reforms, including divorce laws, uh, civil marriage, and confiscation of ecclesiastic property. Not much is known about Leonidas' childhood, but uh, from what we do know, uh, he sold teaching. Uh, my name is Guillermo Gallegos, and to continue, I am going to present you the ideology or political preference. The ideology that Leonidas Plaza managed was the Liberal Party. It was an Ecuadorian political party of liberal political thought and with a strong historical significance in the country. It was born as an organization during the independence process of the Royal Court of Quito and was founded, founded as a legal political party in 1896 under the presidency of Eloy Alfaro. Then Leonidas Plaza joined with this idea. However, in 19, there was a separation of the party due to the ideological differences between Plaza and Alfaro. Uh, to continue, I am going to present the profession uh, of Leonidas Plaza. The profession that Leonidas Plaza has during his life was the military occupation, specifically the rank of general. His entire career in the military began thanks to Eloy Alfaro due, due to a recruitment before due to a recruitment. Before that, Leonidas Plaza was dedicated to selling cheat. So thank you. I am Stalin Herrera and I am going to talk about the positive and negative aspects. Leonidas Plaza established the Vicente Rocafuerte School in Guayaquil and the Vicente Maldonado in Robamba, Manuela Cañizares and Juan Montalvo in Quito, and the military institution in the same city. It reopened the School of Fine Arts, which had been founded by Garcia Moreno and closed by successive governments. The National Telephone Company was formed and the Association of Workers with Employee Societies in Guayaquil and with the Allies of Society began. The Agronomy Institute of Lombato was founded, a pedagogical mission chair by Walter Himmelman was brought from Germany and tried the first technical radio teacher. Railway continued to develop during the first government of General Leonidas Plaza Gutierrez between 1901 and 1905. The Rita Lecumberi was founded in Guayaquil. Now, the consolidation. He applied and consolidated the liberal reforms advocated by Parisian, the separation of church and state, laws of civil marriage, divorce and cult, confiscation of ecclesiastical property and the secularization of education. Uh, and finally, these are the sources where we extracted the information about the president uh, for the presentation. So that's it. Uh, the group members was Stalin Herrera, Mateo Viver and Guillermo Gallegos. Uh, thank you for your attention.